My name is Kelly Ingram and I am the clinical director of the speech and language program at ASU. Well, the speech clinic is a clinic that serves pediatric through adults. Um, we want to service both the ASU community as well as the community at large with a range of communication difficulties. The clinical training program is a master's level program where our students learn clinical skills in diagnostics and intervention with a range of clients across the lifespan. My name is Courtney and I am a second year master's student in the speech therapy program here at ASU. I chose to study speech language pathology because I have a deep passion for working with the special needs population, specifically with Down syndrome, and I knew that I could impact others' lives and make a difference by becoming a speech therapist. I chose ASU because it is a renowned program and they have a lot of vast opportunities for student internships and connecting you to what you want to specialize in. We offer services across nine different disorder areas. They include articulation, fluency, voice, language, cognition, social integration, swallowing, hearing, and alternative communication systems. We have programs for individuals who are adults who've had suffered a stroke and want to improve their language and communication skills. We have after-school programs for children who have speech sound disorders. And then we have a range of summer programs, including camp called SPELL, which is a summer program for early language and literacy, and a program for adolescents and young adults who have difficulty with social problems, usually because of autism. My favorite part is being able to translate research that is current research into clinical practice and helping the students learn about that process so they can go forward and use that when they're practicing speech language pathologists. I've gotten the chance to work with a broad spectrum of clients, not only here at the speech and hearing clinic on campus, but throughout my internships. Go with your passion. There are so many different areas in our field that you can become passionate about and there's so many different specialties. It's a broad scope. A lot of the patients that you treat in this field are going to have different etiologies and different needs and everyone that you treat is going to be different. So you really want to make sure that you can see the client as an individual and that you can treat different aspects of their disorder. I am Ingrid McBride, clinical professor and director of the Hearing Clinic at Arizona State University. The Hearing Clinic is a full-service audiology clinic that provides comprehensive audiological services to children and adults of any age. The clinical training program at ASU uh, really prepares students for the workplace. Our speech and hearing clinic is an integral component of that training program. Here we're able to offer students a wide variety of patients, uh, different types of disorders, different types of services that they are exposed to, preparing them for off-campus placements um, and ultimately for the workplace. My name is Lizzie Diamond. I am a first year audiology graduate student. I picked ASU for a couple reasons. I really liked the comprehensive program that they have here and the ability to get clinical externships that a lot of other places couldn't offer. I chose to study audiology at ASU because when I took my first audiology class, I really fell in love with the ear and the whole diagnostic process. I felt like ASU really knew what I was looking for and it would be a really good fit. My favorite part of being the hearing director is being able to work with wonderful colleagues in a collaborative environment, being able to see our students go from beginning clinicians to very polished and seasoned clinicians. Um, and we take great pride in our students who are out there across the country and the world and be able to say that they were trained at Arizona State University. It's been really interesting. We started off just doing classes and observing in clinic, but recently we've been able to actually get in the clinic and work with the patients ourselves, which has been really exciting and I've really enjoyed it. A unique aspect of our clinical training program is the ability to provide a humanitarian experience for our students. So we have a, a training program that goes to Malawi, Africa. We've gone there since 2010. We take a, a team of students and uh, clinical faculty, and we spend five weeks in Malawi providing uh, diagnostic and rehabilitative services. It's a tremendously rewarding opportunity 
that exposes students to uh, different types of disorders and, and patients that they would not typically see in the United States. Some of my best advice is to try and get some at least observation in the field, try and be involved to make sure that's really what you want to be doing. It's a great field with a lot of great people, but you really have to be passionate about it. My hopeful outcome of studying at ASU is to have a really good foundational base of audiology as a comprehensive practice and to be able to go anywhere I want and be able to practice as an audiologist.